What is going on guys, Black Panther here, welcome to another Gran Turismo 6 video and today what I wanted to do is build myself an SLS. Now, it's kind of clear the Panther car was going to be an SLS, I mean what else would it be? This is my car, well it could have been a 1969 Camaro at the same time, but it's the SLS, it's the Panther Mobile, that's what I'm going to be using. So I could have used the uh, GT version of it I guess. But this thing is more customizable. I can kind of start it to how I want and do other stuff. And like from stock and change the colour. Look at that, pretty awesome. I'm gonna go with the blue colour. I'm not sticking with the blue. I just want to unlock the blue. I don't know if I have that kind of blue. So we're gonna buy it. And we get to see the little thing. And it does the pretty thing. It doesn't really look that good in blue, to be quite honest. Definitely wouldn't go with the blue for the actual colour of it. So we're gonna make it purple. I actually spent uh, a lot of the time going through some cars to look for some purple colours. I think I ended up with Midnight Purple 2 and Midnight Purple 3. I think those ones I came across with. And uh, so we're going to go have a look at the... Where are we? We're going to do the paint first. So we can have a, a, a cheeky look at what's going to be going on with it. So, metallic. There you go. Midnight Purple 3, uh, three and 2. So the, the other way around for some strange reason. I think those are the only purple colours I've got. If you guys actually know of a better purple, please, please let me know. Because uh, that will be awesome. Maybe there's like a... I don't know. I, I like the purple here. But I think this is a bit too dark maybe. But, I mean, this one's lighter, but I think it's too, uh, too pink. I don't know. It's it's, it's kind of confusing. I, I, the only thing is, you can't really see what it's like until you take it out on the track. So I'm gonna go with this paint for now. A kind of the bluer purple color, because I think it looks a bit nicer. If I'm honest, it might look a bit nicer on the track as well. And I want to put a carbon hod on it it's just so it's a bit different. I want to change the rims. I want to put a spoiler on it. And that's, I just want to do everything to it. So this is going to be my, my main car that I drive on this game. On online, you'll see me driving this car and stuff. Um, so I want to make it look recognizable. And I'll probably make a few videos on this rather than like sitting with one video. I want to make it so like uh, I don't know. If I do any changes to it, you'll you'll kind of see it and see what I've changed and why I've changed it and so on. So I want to go with racing soft tyres because obviously, I mean why not? Uh, suspension, I'm just going to go pretty much everything. I want to go all out on this car so obviously everything is going to be bought that needs to be bought because this thing is mainly about raw power. Where's my uh, drift build SLS which I have? Uh, it's mainly obviously tuned towards not going too quick but you know getting there much faster so it can start to spin lose control because you know that's what you want it to do you want it to lose control kind of in a sense but you get the point so I'm gonna go with as I said everything maxed out I want to get NOS as well like NOS is next to pointless to, for, to me most of the time because I never use it but you do get an incredible boost on this game with NOS so why would I leave it out? It's 100k. It's going to be my number one car. Why would I not? Okay, for the body, as, as I said, I'm just going to buy everything. Weight reduction, clearly. Now, I want to try this carbon bonnet and see if that's going to look any good. I'm not always 100% on carbon bonnets, but most of the time it is looks a lot nicer with a carbon bonnet. But that's usually when it's like white or something. So now let's go to custom parts. I want to make myself a spoiler, because I can do that. So... Aero kit, so we should probably put that on first. See, it looks a million times nicer already. It looks longer and it looks more in your face kind of thing. And yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to stick with the carbon bonnet for this car. I think it looks, it, it just makes it look a bit different. Like, it doesn't look amazing with it, but I mean, it looks better than, say, it would stock, I think. That, that's, it might just be me, but it's my car, so I get to choose what to do. I, I just want to get the spoiler on it. It looks really odd. I, that's what I hate about the SLS. After looking at the SLS Black, driving the SLS Black on nearly every game recently, you start to notice that the SLS Black is a million times nicer looking. But, on the other hand, the SLS is better at going sideways, really. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what we're going to do with the spoiler. I'm not too sure how I want it exactly. But, I, mean, I, I don't know if I want the gap or if I just want it full like, like that. I think, to be honest, with this one, I'm going to go f like where it's fully solid -di -di -sol solidified, so it's not like got gaps in it. Definitely that one. 
Okay, so the wing, I want to go with a large wing. Then why would you want to go with a small wing? Are you crazy? You're a peasant? You're insane. Ooh. I like that one. What else we got? I want something that looks very pretty. You know, I'm going to go with that, that, that one there. That one. That one. Because it looks like it splits into two, which is pretty nice. So, this bit here, uh, there was always one that I went for. There we go, that. I really like that. I put it on my drift car as well, but I think it looks really nice. <laughs> I, I think it's one of the better looking ones. I like the weird angle on it. It's, it's strange. Anyway, for the height, I, I guess I could make it taller. And I want to make it a lot longer, because the wider, the better. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Actually, let's see what it's like lowered. I don't know, that looks odd. If I have it, like, in the middle, that's kind of as high as the roof. You know, I'm going to stick with that for now and see if we need to change it in the future. Yes, I'd like to install my spoiler of spoilingness. It doesn't really spoil it. Get it? Spoiling with a... Spoil... <laughs> I, I am such a funny person, aren't I? Incredible jokes. Okay, other. What is in other? I don't think I've ever seen anything in other. Nope, not. <laughs> Today's not going to be the day I see anything in there either. Okay, rims, rims, rims. This is going to take me the longest time because the amount of bloody rims on this game. I ended up going with bright green ones for my uh, for my drift build because they kind of stand out in a way, so I like that. Uh, I might just straight away go with darkish rims, but I mean, I could always change the color of them. So if I find one I'd like that's not... Ooh. I like that there's another colour in there. If I could set the colour myself, that would be bloody brilliant. Kind of maybe a, a lighter purple, maybe? That would have been cool. Um, let's see. What are we going with with rims? Those aren't too bad, actually. Alright, so I've decided to go with these. I can't really decide on anything. They're not... They're all okay, but they're not all very nice. Like, they're not amazing. I, I think that's pretty much as close as I'm going to get to quite suiting for that car. Especially in that shot, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's not it's not great. I mean, it's either those to me or these, which I'm still not a million percent on. So I think what I'm going to do is stick with uh, the ones, as I said. So that's that. <laughs> Let's uh, hurry up and uh, put those on before I change my mind again. <laughs> Let's see how it looks in this thing where it's... Yes, yeah, see, that's fine, right, isn't it? I wish I could put kind of like a little hint of purple on them, maybe. I might be able to. See, I don't even know. I think we'll be able to, actually. And once again, I wish I could change the size of them as well, like the rims, because they're not, as I said, not bad, but maybe if they were a bit bigger, they would be more fitting to me. And I highly doubt purple rims is gonna uh, are gonna look very nice. You can't even really tell they're purple. I don't know. Is it even worth? Or is it just keep it black? I keep them black because it's a bit of a difference. I don't want like the whole car to be you know purple. So that's that customized and ready to go. So I'm gonna hit a track, hit a race. I don't know. And we're gonna figure out th what this thing needs to be done done to this thing so we can make it drive a bit better than it is stock. Now before we even like jump into driving the car, uh, I want to do a few changes straight away. So the top speed, I don't know if that's going to be enough, so I'm going to set to about... I don't know, maybe 205 will be enough. I don't know, it depends, because I really just want to use this thing for all rounds, so we'll see. So I'm going to turn up the initial torque. Uh, let's see... I could... I don't know, I'll keep that as it was. Uh, I want to turn the NOS all the way up. Obviously, why would you not? And I think that's pretty much everything. I could increase the downforce. I don't know. I don't really need the downforce increase that much. So let's put it to stock. Uh, what else we got? We could change the spring rates and stuff. I, what I want to do is maybe put a camber on it. So let's see. Uh, angle between your wheels and vertex. Actually, it's the toe angle I wanted to do. So I wanted to do... Outwards will cause it viewed from the angle toe and opposite. Generally speaking, the more inward facing toe angle of your front wheels, the more stable your car will be. So we want it to be a bit more stable, I guess. I always know the SLS to be like very slidey and I wouldn't say uh, untamable, but it wants to get its backside out 
quite a lot. It tries to even with traction control and, and every other assist in the world on. So what I said anyway was what I want to do is go toe inward slightly uh, and that will make the car more stable. So let's go, let's go 50 with the front and 25. Sorry, you know what I mean, the other way around. <laughs> there you go, 25 and 50. Um, don't want to do too much else. Uh, that's all I really need to do at the minute. Not much else at all. So, we'll hit the track and see what this is like stock. And as I said, this is more, more than going to be like a, a one time of me going, Right, this is my car, this is what it's going to be like, this is going to be more like... This is what it's like now. In the future, it'll probably be a million times better. But here it's what it looks like. Ooh. It's very controllable. <laughs> he says as he going, he's going about 100 miles an hour. So yeah, definitely needed to upgrade that top speed. I'm probably going to need to do it even more. Especially with that NOS. I don't know. We'll have to see on a, a longer track, I guess. There we go. Let's see what she's like. Full power to the beast! Make sure to use that NOS when I need to. I th this is really controllable. I know I've got traction control on, but... <laughs> I didn't. I, I honestly didn't expect it to kind of stick to the road like this. It's an SLS! That is, uh... I, I can't really th think of what to change, to be honest. This is pretty good as it is. I'm not sure. I couldn't say straight away anyway. I mean, I haven't lost control. I mean, coming out of that corner, I didn't get its tail out or anything. Once again, assists. But usually, as far as I remember, st the stock SLS would even try and kill me. <laughs> as much as I love the SLS, it would try and kill me. All right, let's use a bit of NOS this time. Okay. There we go. On a straight road. Let's see if we can get to uh, 200 before the corner. Come on, come on. She's going to get there. She's going to get there. She's going to get there. I'm not going to break. I'm not going to break. I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> okay. I tried to risk it. It didn't work. But yeah. Oh my god. What have I done to you? I'm so sorry. Um, There isn't much I really want to change about the SLS then. I mean, it turns great. When it begins to, when you feel to, like when you begin to feel that you've, um, you've lost, I don't know, grip, or you kind of, you're losing control, it doesn't, it snaps back. So, I think, I, I think I've found uh, a car that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty well put together without me even changing anything. Because surely, like the, uh, what I did do to it didn't change it that much. I mean, I almost fully accelerated through that then. Or if it looks like I was about to lose it, but regain control straight away. I guess I need to try another track that's kind of more complicated. Let's uh, let's give it a, a go of the Nürburg, I guess. We'll see what that's like now. So one thing I've noticed on the Nürburg, which is great, it brought to my attention. Uh, the car isn't fantastic when going high speed. Uh, the reason is obviously because I've kind of towed it in, so it's very, very grippy when it wants to uh, get moving places. Like when it's going okay speeds, like 130 seems about right, but when it gets to about 160, something like that, it seems to not want to turn. Like you can see it's struggling already, but I thought it was mainly to do with the, you know the assists and stuff I've got to stop me crashing, stop me crashing into a wall. But I think that's one thing I need to change straight away is maybe have a mess around with it in stock. <laughs> Um, I don't know much else I really can do to it other than uh, obviously get rid of the toe angle. That's what I meant by stock. I don't mean literally reset the whole thing to stock. Because I think this is pretty cool as it is. It's it's very quick. It's as I said, it's not the fan no, it's fantastic how it's handling. But once you actually, if you're going in a straight line, obviously that's when you're going to put the most power down. So it doesn't really need to be much less. But I think with a bit more tuning, we have got ourselves a winner. Because this thing is doing really well at me, like, uh, making me not fail. Because usually on the Nürburgring, I would have gone off about 80 times by now. I went off a few times before, but that was because I was really pushing it with the NOS. To see what I can get out of it and see if I can 
not die in the process of doing that. But as I said, it's not turning amazingly if I try and get a bit of a high speed coming up to here. As you can see there, it was kind of struggling. So, I think with a bit more tuning, as I said, kind of, I might reset what we've got with the, uh, the toe angle. I mean, we decreased the downforce, so I'm guessing that would help. Um, and maybe turning the assists off would help, Theo, you know? <laughs> Not being a nub, and maybe a different tyres. See there, that's what I mean. It wasn't turning quick enough. If I managed to break, it would have, you know. But for a track like the Nurburg and other circuits, they're going to be quick corners that I need to turn very quickly, like as in when I'm going fast still. So that's one thing that I need to change. But as I said, other than that, I think we've got it. Um. I haven't really reached top speed yet, so we will see now if I do reach top speed. Use a bit of NOS. The NOS light was flashing there. It was like, use me, Theo. Use the power of the N2O and fly down the road. Here we go. 200. It's slowing down around this because I think that what we said it to was on 217. Looks to be the case. I don't know if I need to go any faster than that, to be honest, because I think going any faster... This will happen, <laughs> and it happened at 217 anyway, but as you saw, control lost at that speed. I think, as I said, anywhere near 160 and, and it's pretty much gone. So, that's one thing I'm going to mess with, I'll probably do that in another video, so thank you very much for joining me and watching me build my SLS, basics, basic build of the SLS. Even though it's battered into a million pieces now, it's still beautiful. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will see you... In the next video, I don't know, maybe you want to vote? You can vote in the comments what game you want to see. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye, Panther out. Peace.